Okay, this video covers creating a MySQL database and importing tables in cPanel. Uh, before we get started, there's a couple things that you're going to need. You're going to need the URL to access your cPanel. You can get that from your hosting provider. Uh, an example is uh, www.yourdomain.com forward slash cPanel. Uh, that's the uh, norm but you'll have to check with your hosting provider to find out exactly where to log in. You're going to need your username and your password to access your cPanel. And then you're going to need a notepad text editor or any other text editor that you prefer. Once you get logged in, uh, you're going to locate your, the database area of your cPanel. Uh, the layout may be different depending on your hosting and, and what theme of cPanel they have set up. But uh, once you find the database area, you may or may not have all of these options. Um, there is a uh, MySQL database wizard uh, that's included in some cPanels. And what that does is that walks you through step by step. Uh, it's the exact process that we'll be taking here. But since all cPanels uh, offer the regular MySQL database, that's the one that we're going to use today. But before we get started creating the database, the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open up a notepad and we'll get it prepared for uh, our new database. Uh, we're going to add the user, the password, and the database name itself. Okay, let's get started here first thing you're going to want to do is create a new database. Now I'm going to call this one since we're going to be installing uh, a database for Power Viral Tweet. I'm going to name this one Tweeter. Okay, we created the database. You want to copy that down and pop that in to our notepad. Hit the go back button. Now what you're going to need to do is create a user. And down here I'm going to use Tweeter. And then I'm going to use the password generator. Um, this is a personal preference. Um, I like it so that when you double click on uh, your password to copy it, see what happened there it only highlighted the dollar sign and the question mark when you use symbols in your password uh, it's definitely uh, more complex and and probably more secure um, I just like the option to be able to double click on my password and get the whole thing so what I do is I uncheck the symbols box regenerate and look at it, it still gave me very strong so now when I double click on it the entire thing um, highlights uh, you copy it and then you're gonna paste that into your notepad this will come in handy when you need to uh, add these uh, add the username and the password and the database to uh, other files in the future okay so we're gonna use that password tells you to make sure that you copy it and note it down which we've already done because it won't show it to you again and then we're gonna create the user okay now that the user tweeter has been created with this password we're gonna go back and the last thing we need to do is tie the user to the database so since there's only one database in here, we're already highlighted on user tweeter with database tweeter. And all we're going to do is add it. Now we're going to set our privileges. First thing I want to do before that is copy the user and add it into my notepad. Okay. Now we can uh, add privileges under most circumstances um, for the, the applications that you'll be using you're going to want to give all privileges to the database um, doing anything else is, is uh, really more of an advanced uh, feature 
and then you're going to go ahead and make changes and that's it you just created your first database once your database is created you're going to want to save this information so you click file save as and what I'm going to do is because it's for viral power tweet that I'm installing I'm going to put viral power tweet and then put database so I know in the future this is where that information is and there you have that now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and create some tables in this database um, for viral power tweet and we'll show you how to do that go ahead and click on the home button to get you back to the cPanel home page then you're gonna scroll down to where your databases are and you're gonna click on my PHP admin okay now that we're inside you see here it says your here's your tweeter database and we're gonna to wanna to add uh, some tables you see here it says no tables found in database well we're gonna create some so you wanna go ahead and click on that database if you have more listed over here in this left hand column just click on the one that you wanna use and then you're gonna click on uh, import now there's two different ways you can do this you can either just locate the text file which is usually uh, has a .sql extension or you can come over here if you already have your file open you can come over here copy and paste the entire contents into this box and click go but we're gonna go ahead and use the import function we're gonna browse to it okay and here it is here's our database SQL file double click on that it gets loaded up and then click on go if everything was okay you're gonna see a successful message up here and you're all set you just created your uh, database tables and you're ready to continue on with the script installation.